All right, so here's an update on my automated focuser project for my telescope. You can see here I've got the Arduino wired up, soldered onto a PCB with a TMC2209 trinamic stepper driver underneath there. Some JST connectors to grab power in and then out to the motor coils. You've got the micro USB breakout board, changing that from mini to micro because I've got more micro cables. Uh, and then the enclosure box, so that I 3D printed and we've got these nice little brass heat set inserts I added on there. So those are going to be used to attach the lid once I uh, close this up, left it open so you could see it. All right, there's the, there's the lid. So it changed out to a TMC2209 after I accidentally fried one of my few DRV8825 stepper drivers. Figured I'd rather go with something that's quieter, smoother, overall just a better driver anyway if I had to buy extras. So um, switched out to that. Got these aviation connectors for 12 volts in and then the motor coils out. So and all that then goes to my power distribution box that I have on my telescope right there. And there's my power distribution box. So all of that powers everything. Um, you can see I've got the different aviation connectors. One powers the mount, one powers the camera cooler, and one powers the focuser. I've got my power in here. And then on the other side, you can see um, I've got another power connector there. That powers a cooling fan on the bottom of the telescope as well as a dew heater strap that goes around here to keep any condensation or frost from forming on my front lens element. So here's the motor. And there's the focuser motor. It's a NEMA 14 with 0.9 degree per step rotation. And I've connected it to the 10 to 1 focus shaft on my feather touch focuser. And all that's then I'm going to move the entire focuser in and out to focus my camera. Okay. And then here's the software. So this is the software. This is all based around the My Focuser Pro 2 build that someone came up with. Um, I'm just using their firmware, adjusted a little bit for the stepper driver. Um, but you can see how I can just click on, you know, plus and minus to move this in and out if I want to. And it will go ahead and move the stepper motor. Um, I can show you here that it'll move. Right. As I do that, it's really kind of slow, but you can kind of sort of see it. It's moving in and out. We'll hit home. Here you can see it moving all the way back in as I hit home. Sorry about the focusing there. So I can adjust all my settings in here if I want and then this will eventually integrate in with other software. So let me close this and bring up Nina, which is the nighttime image and astronomy and astronomy software. And in here I can go ahead and connect my focuser. Let me find my cursor. There we go. And so I can do the same thing in here, right? If I want to, I can go ahead and tell it to move to a target position, 
Um, and then in general, what it should do is over the course of the night, as the telescope warms up and cools down, right, the focuser, the whole tube is going to expand and collapse or, or expand and contract with thermal conductivity. So as this warms up and cools down, the length of the tube, the length of the focuser changes slightly and so it's going to throw off my focus. The critical focus zone in here is maybe about 50 microns deep. So trying to keep it in there as the whole tube is expanding and contracting is really challenging. So that's the whole point is that over the night, every so often I'm going to tell this to refocus. It's going to move slightly, take a few pictures as it moves, and then compare them and figure out where is the point that is going to be the sharpest stars and move it there and then continue imaging. And so every so often, maybe every half an hour to an hour, I'll just tell it to go ahead and refocus and it should rerun that routine where it moves the focuser in and out, finds peak focus, moves there, um, and then continues imaging. So then I don't have to stay up and watch my telescope all night long. I can go ahead and just uh, let it run and then check on it in the morning, actually get some sleep for a change.